everyone, and welcome to Meow Mix, the Carolina Panthers podcast. My name is Steven. My name is Jerry. And we're doing an emergency episode because Robbie Anderson was just signed to a two-year extension worth $20 million total. We'll break that down here in a minute. But Jerry and I have not talked about this yet. And I think you I'm had sorry, the numbers million wrong. Dollars. Yep, $30 million total. Sorry. ESPN, uh, is, re- is, ESPN is reporting $29.5 million. Twenty nine and a half. Okay, so <laughs> essentially thirty. Hey, let me see. Okay, essentially thirty. Um, so just right off the top of your head, Jerry, how do you feel? I feel good. I am a little worried, just because I know DJ Moore is signed this year and next year, and he's expecting to get a big time contract. And with Terrace Marshall here, I was not expecting him to be the first one to go. I thought DJ and maybe he could sign something like this afterwards, but as long as we sign DJ, I love this idea. DJ, Terrace Marshall, Robbie Anderson, Tommy Trimble, and Sam Darnold are all going to be together this year and next year. And, C- so, and CMC. And you're absolutely right. My bad. Yeah. C- CMC. Maybe the best of all of them. <laughs> Definitely the best of all of them. I was going to say he is. Yeah. So yeah. I like that idea. I mean, if the uh, offensive line can get together or get right, I mean, they have a plethora of weapons for the next two <clears> years. <throat> if Sam Darnold can't make it work in the next two years, he's out of the league. He has way too many weapons now. Yeah, um, I, I basically feel the same way. My first initial thought was, yay. I'm glad that they were able to lock him up. Immediately, I then thought, what does this mean about DJ? Mm-hmm. Uh, is this insurance just in case they can't reach a deal with DJ? And if that's the case, then we're probably looking at Terrace Marshall taking that DJ role, I would assume, you know, if, assuming that he's as good as he's looked so far. Uh, and then you've still got Robbie Anderson doing his thing, which is still a very good wide receiver core, you know, at least the top two, then you probably draft another guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy about it. He feels like a bit of a luxury item mm-hmm. signing Robbie Anderson but you're but you gotta think uh, with we've the been, other needs but we've been cutting players left and right to sh- mm-hmm. shed a lot of the fat you know this is when you you have the luxury of buying a luxury you know high performance car I mean yeah that's what he right. is but should you buy a high performance car when you're living in a two-bedroom apartment that's the question because the rest of this team offensive line especially is not where it needs to be. So I'm saying like when you're competing for playoffs, you're competing for for a Super Bowl, then this type of signing maybe makes sense. For this team, it feels like there's still other things that needed to be done first than extending your number two receiver. I can understand where you're saying. And I think you and I at nauseum have talked about how we feel that this front office neglected the offensive Mm -hmm. line. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, that was our top priority going in the offseason, and they didn't address it hardly at all. But that being said, I don't think this team is a two-bedroom apartment either. I think this team, especially the defense, what it's shown on the first and second team reps, could be a lot better. The offensive line... Be. It, could be. I I think it what is. What we know so far is that they were 5-11 and 11 last year. They did definitely upgraded the defense. We brought in a quarterback that we don't know what he's going to be. And really how Sam Darnold goes is going to really determine this season. I I I agree. We know that. So, yeah, I mean, it could, you know, Sam Darnold could be above average. And then all of a sudden this team takes off. And that's what I hope. Anderson now is happy. He's going to be out there, you know, every game working hard. Not There's no, no reason for him to sulk like some of these receivers do. that are looking for payday. Um, not that I've seen Anderson do that, but no. you know, you never know. Um, so yeah, I mean, th- let me just say this. So this is the way that it's kind of breaking down. It's not on spot rack yet, but this is what I'm seeing. So the Panthers added four and a half million to, to this season, mm-hmm. right? Uh, 2021, his 2022 salary is going to be 13 million. And then his 2023 salary is going to be 12 million. So that's yep. not bad. That's no, that's bad. great. That's great for yeah. a thousand yard receiver. And that's what a he was. A thousand yard receiver. Year. That's great. Yep. Yep. I mean, so, I, I'm looking at Amari Cooper, $20 million. Michael Tom is $19 million. Odell Beckham, $18 million. Mike Evans, 16 And he, that was a long time ago he signed yeah. that. 
Uh, and but these aren't these uh, obviously Robbie Anderson's not in that crew, but he is around the Curtis Samuel range where he's around right around 12, right? Mm-hmm. So here's my question to you is would you have rather kept Curtis Samuel at that number or Robbie Anderson at that number? Because they chose Robbie Anderson. This was obviously the plan. I'm going to say Robbie Anderson just because it seems like they wanted this front office, this Matt Rule, that's who they like more. I'm asking you as a, as a fan, as someone who's watched this team, especially over the last couple of years as we do I would, this podcast, I would lead, very closely. I would lean more towards Robbie just because of Curtis Samuel's injury concern. I really like Curtis Samuel and I wanted to keep him, but that injury concern is really glaring. That being yeah. said... By the end of this contract, Robbie Anderson's going to be 31 years old, which receivers could play that long, but they tend to not fall off a cliff, but start slowing down. Yeah, I could see him getting another contract similar to this one at, at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he's going to make more money than this at that point. But I mean, honestly, for the money, I don't have, I don't have no problem with this contract. And I'm glad they keep him in Carolina because he obviously has a good – rhythm with this offense you know again new quarterback could be another new quarterback next year never know but uh he does have familiar familiarity with sam darnold so i I personally think this solidifies sam darnold's here next year unless unless he just goes out there and looks awful i think this the the next possible by the way (laughs) it is very possible but i think matt rule and has hitched his wagon to sam darnold and for good, for better or worse, I think they're in for two years to make this happen. And they have the weapons to do it. The only issue is the offensive line. I think if Darnold has another nine touchdown, 11 interception season and just isn't on, doesn't look good out there, I could see him dumping them and just saying, hey, you know what? We made this, this, you know, essentially two years, $20 million deal we gave Darnold. And by picking up that, extension right it's it's somewhere around that but if nine, you're looking at it over two years right but that's awful nine touchdowns 11 interceptions is awful. no i'm just saying like they gave it a <laughs> so, shot and if it doesn't work this year then i think they can cut him and that price they'll they'll, they'll eat that price yeah right or the, or they keep him and they draft a quarterback and they just kind of see what happens next year but either way this isn't the sam darnold podcast um yeah i mean uh you know overall i give this let's see Four out of five Panther Pauls. My excitement level. <laughs> There's five Panther Pauls? Uh, for this rating system, yes. You okay. feel free to make up your own rating system. I was going to go with just it. a grade and do a B plus because <laughs> <laughs> I think getting it done early helps the Panthers. I think Robbie Anderson may have been able to get more money on the free market if he got another 1,000-yard season. And mm. I'm shocked it was only two-year extension because I was expecting him wanting more of a long-term at his age, maybe wanting more of a five, six-year deal trying to make, you know. Yeah, it, that, no, this is a, it's a good deal for both parties, right? Because mm-hmm. he gets to capitalize off his one really high-end season, right? And Where familiarity he with the coaching staff. Yep, and the Panthers get to say, well, it's only a two-year deal. If he flames mm-hmm. out, if he's, if he's a one-hit wonder, then it's not that bad. So nope. this is a good deal for both parties. And Anderson, if he continues to be a thousand yard receiver, he's got another contract in, in a couple of years. Yep. So, and it probably gets extended in 2024, I guess, 2023. But yeah. Uh, I, I'll just give it a grade. I'll, I'll say B plus as well. I'm, okay. I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah. You threw me through a loop with Panther Pauls. I was like, what? Like huh? six and a half out of seven Panther Pauls. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lost there. I was like, huh? Uh, Do you have any last thoughts on the contract before you sign off? No, no. I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm happy with it. So let's go. Let's do it. Uh, all right. We want to thank everyone for listening. If you like the show, please let your friends know. Please follow us on Twitter at Meow Mix Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at mailbag at meowmixpodcast.com. If you leave us a five-star review with a comment on Apple Podcasts, we'll read it on our show. And please like and subscribe on YouTube. 
We'll be back uh, in a couple of days to discuss the Steelers Panthers game preview in which we will see Robbie Anderson. So until then, everybody, take it easy. Keep pounding.